Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at smaller variations of lithium iron phosphate batteries. We have a 18 amp hour 12 volt battery and a 12 amp hour 12 volt battery from XZNY. So let's check it out. Okay, when you first open up these battery boxes, you're going to be getting a warranty and support card. Like I share your experience little card here. And then you'll be getting a user manual. And what's nice is the user manual is specific to the battery. So you're not going to be getting a user manual that gives you basic standard information and then says, here's the specifications for your battery and then gives you a big list of all a whole bunch of amp hours and voltage sizes. So I like this because this is very specific to the battery that you're actually buying. Okay, when it comes to these two types of batteries, are they are both 3.7 inches tall. Uh, they are also both 5.94 inches in length, but the depth is the only thing that's different between the 12 amp hour and the 18 amp hour variation. The 12 amp hour is 2.56 inches and the 18 amp hour is 3.9 inches. The weight of the 18 amp hour battery is 4 pounds 4 ounces. And the weight of the 12 amp hour of battery is two pounds, 12 ounces. So these batteries are very light for the amount of amp hour capacity that you get. And what's also nice about these lithium iron phosphate batteries is even though they're small, they still have a battery management system built in. So they have all the protections that you need. All right, to get into the specifics of these batteries, when it comes to the 12 amp hour variation, you have a maximum charge and discharge of 10 amps, which you can do a peak of 20 amps for five seconds. And so that means this will give you a max load of 128 watts. And when it comes to the 18 amp hour variation, it gives you 20 amps of maximum charge and discharge with a 40 amp peak for five seconds. And so the max load on the 18 amp hour is 256 watts. And don't think that these batteries have cold temperature charging protection because they don't. Uh, the minimum temperature you should be at when charging them is around 41 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you want to discharge them, it can be all the way down to 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, just like with any other battery, these smaller variations, you want to check the voltage first to make sure that they're operational and that they're not a too high state of charge like 13.7 or too low of a state of charge, like, I don't know, in the 12s. So my guess is because of how small they are, the voltage will be up a little bit. So we're hoping to be right around 13.3. So let's check it now. All right, the 18 amp hour variation is 13.29. And the 12 amp hour variation is 13.32. So those are both exactly where you want them to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge up these batteries, and then I'm actually going to do a capacity test for each of these batteries, just to make sure that we're getting the amp hours that we paid for. All right, so I just tested the capacity of this 12 amp hour battery, and look at that. The amp hour capacity is 11.99, so right at 12 amp hours. So it doesn't give you any overage, it's exactly what it labels. So let's go ahead and test the 18 amp hour and see what it gives us. All right, well the capacity test is done for this 18 amp hour battery and the results are, it looks like we got 17.44 amp hours. So I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get the full 18 amp hours. But again, I'm usually working with 100 or 200 amp hour batteries that are uh, more in tune with trying to be above capacity. These ones are just, I think they're actually made for 18 amp hours and that's about it. So uh, I'm not really too disappointed with the results of this test. All right, now that the capacity tests are done for the 18 amp hour and the 12 amp hour variety of these 12 volt XZNY batteries, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, max amperage test. I'm gonna be pulling about 20 to 22 amps um, from the 18 amp hour battery. And then we're gonna switch over to the 12 amp hour and I'm gonna pull about 10 to 11 amps. And I'm gonna do that for five minutes just to make sure that they can handle it. So let's go ahead and start with the 18 amp hour. Let me show you what I have all hooked up. 
Okay, I have the battery right there and I have it connected to a 500 watt inverter. Um, I also have a voltmeter which shows the voltage is 13.14 currently. And the amperage going into the inverter is uh, a fifth of an amp right now. I have my timer and what I have as the load is two fans. So I'm gonna be putting one of them on high and the other one on medium and that should give us right around our 20 amps. So let's get it started. All right, I got the fans on and the amperage is sitting at 20.7. So let's go ahead and start our timer and I'll be back in five minutes. All right, well it's been five minutes and these fans are running fine. So I believe this passed the test. We're still pulling 19 amps. Uh, the, the voltage is down to 11.87. So let's go ahead and crank this fan all the way up to high. And now we're doing tw almost 21 amps. Voltage is down to 11.78. But yeah, it can run. It can run two full-size box fans on high uh, with no problem at all. So let's go ahead and switch it over to the uh, 12 amp hour variation and do the same test and see what we get. All right, I just started the test. We are pulling right at 10 amps, which is the max for that 12 amp hour battery. And it, the voltage is down to 12.19. And it started at 13.1. So it's been 30 seconds. I'll come back in five minutes to see how we did. All right, well, it's been five minutes since we started this test on this 12 amp battery. And it's been running this fan uh, with no problem and it's been pulling uh, in about 10 and a half amps this entire time. The voltage is down to 11.81. All right, so these little batteries from XZNY, they are perfect for small applications. Like if you don't wanna buy you know, a, a 100 amp battery, you can use these to replace the, the batteries like in your, uh, in your kids' little uh, drivable toys, like those little cars. Um, also, you can use them in UPS systems and also like for fish finders if, uh, you know, if you're a fisherman. Uh, they would be perfect. What's nice about them is that they're really light and that they pack a punch. I mean, they have, like this one has 18 amp hours. It can pull out like 20 amps if you need it. I mean, actually it has a 40 amp surge. So that's pretty amazing for such a small battery. So if you have any questions about these XZNY batteries, please leave it in the comments. I'll have a link to these in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.